Welcome back everyone, John Panier here with another video. Today we have the update, well this came out that recently, with Zway Association, South Section 4 Gregor. As you can see, he's the Gregor with an actual arm. I mean, Fire and Assault, or not Fire and Assault, Fire Gregor also had an arm, but he is one with a mechanical arm. Now, we have him at level 30, up to 3. His stats currently are 180 health, 4 speed to 8 speed, so he's on the faster and tankier. Uh, his first skill is Standoff. It's a 4 base with plus 3 on coin flip, so it can go up to 10, which is kind of on the weaker side. It says on use, gain 2 defense up, clash lose gain shield by 3 times defense level up on sub, and gain 1 defense level up next turn, on hit gain haste next turn, so he can get faster and a little bit more tankier. Second skill is flexible suppressing or suppression. It is a three base with plus three for four coins, so it can go all the way up to 15. On use, gain three defense up, and you gain two aggro to this skill slot next turn. On hit, gain plus one defense level up next turn. Second hit is the same thing. Fourth hit is at six plus defense level up, deal 30% more damage. And Guardian is a 5 place with 3 on coin flip, so it can go all the way up to 14. On use, apply 2 defense level up, and 3 defense level up to all allies. Plus 6 defense level up, coin power plus 1, and at 10 defense level up, deal plus 3 damage. Apply 3 defense level up on all allies next turn. So, this one is interesting because the defense level up only applies for one turn, so it's pretty easy for it to fall off. However, though, however, if you run it with... The other unit, Faust, potentially it can be pretty good. His defense is actually okay. Combat start, gain shield by two times the defense level up on self, but very rarely would you ever use defense. And his passive is combat shield. If the target, well, you need five less. If the target has is targeted by two or more attacks at the start of the round, phase gain two defense level up. If at 50% or less HP at the start of the combat phase, gain three defense level up. So basically, Gregor wants to be playing at around 50% health to be most efficient. However, he's just a very strong utility tank, I would say. His support, if he's off the field, is if one ally with the highest max HP is targeted by two or more attacks, gain three defense level up. So this is actually a really good support skill offside. It basically makes it so anyone who's going to get hit twice is going to have at least some level of defense, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. We're going to take him into good old EXP Luxcavation, and we're going to see how he fares. Obviously... Not a good representation, but what we'll do is we'll pull him with good old Faust, chonk him in with Ishmael, Heathcliff, and also Sinclair. And let's just see how it goes. Alright. So, we're gonna win rate everything and see how it performs. I would say that his skill is technically on the weaker side for coin flips. However, he does offer a good level of utility with defense level up. As you can see, he's already given it to Heathcliff, which is pretty nutty. Everyone now has defense level up, which makes your team slightly tankier, which is pretty nice. So it means that if they're going to get hit, they're going to take less damage. But this game though, if you're getting hit, you're doing something wrong because ideally every turn, you want to be winning as much as possible. If you're getting hit, it's not a good thing. I will say though, he can definitely stack up defense level up quite quickly, especially with Faust on the team. Even now, these guys just have it all. The defense level up makes it so that the tankier they are, the stronger they get. So I would say it's actually not bad, but their point flips are a little bit on the weaker side, since in hard level mirror dungeon, you're very rarely ever gonna have a chance to really be able to compete with anything since most opponents are gonna have at least 16 to 20 to 22 power. Unless you're a unit with a really high coin flip such as 2 star Otis, G Corp, or Hong Lu with Mutilate, or even yeah, those are like the main unit Gregor or G Corp Gregor with his dismember skill anything that has like 16 18 that's what you're kind of looking for ideally anything lower than that or not having the potential to do that is actually a bit of a hindrance since I would say 15 is the bare minimum 16 is barely passing as you can see though I would say 
The unit? Not too shabby. They actually do pretty solid damage overall. Can run through most of the content pretty easily, so nothing too crazy. I'm assuming, though, Encore Pika is going to have the most damage, most likely, but I think that's what it's going to be looking like. Actually, no, Ishmael. So if you take a look at the charts, honestly, pretty comparable. Not too shabby. It feels okay, but obviously in the Excavation EXP, all the units are immune to blunt. Or not immune to blunt. They're weak to blunt. So let's try taking them into the Thread Excavation. And we'll just see what ends up happening by fighting it in here. So we're fighting Hebony's Queen Apple. Let's just see how this stacks up. In... Abnormality battle, everyone's gonna get one turn, so we're gonna see how well they stack up with everyone. From the looks of it though, being able to have a lot of corn flip is actually pretty nice, but we're gonna have to see how it goes. So, Pierce is normal, Blunt is normal, so that means Slash is probably fatal, most likely. I don't remember. Still normal. Or is it normal to everything? I need to double check. Uh, it is... Yeah, pretty much neutral to everything. Alright, let's check it out. This is probably a better representation of how Gregor can perform. Against Amoramalities, I would say he's definitely... Probably gonna be useful in Harmo Mirror Dungeon. It's tough to say. Since the utility he offers is actually pretty useful. Being able to apply defense up to your whole team is actually very nice. You give your team a little bit extra level of defense when... Hard Mode Mirror Dungeon is actually super... So obnoxious when it comes to the damage it can output. But we will see. Get this checked out. Lovely. Nice. And we should be able to do a ton of damage. Guardian is his strongest skill. It's 14. And by far is his strongest attack. Uh, 33, it's okay. I would say that. His, his damage is a little on the weaker end, but it's hard to deny his utility. His utility has actually got a lot to offer. But that his utility only helps if your team is getting absolutely messed up. So he gains the most value when your team is absolutely getting demolished and fisted. That's when they're taking damage. So for the most part, it's counterintuitive. It's very much a survivorship bias. He gains the most value when his team is absolutely getting blasted. And Corpse Sinclair coming in with a 200 damage for the last hit. Oh, he's probably going to be doing the most damage if I have ever seen it. So we're going to be doing 30% of the damage. That's my guess. 40% of damage, okay. So, we'll just ignore his damage for a second, but we're gonna take a look at Gregor. A little bit awkward that these guys actually have the lowest amount of damage. I would say right now, first impressions overall with Gregor is that he probably thrives in longer battles where your team is getting annihilated. So it's weird because his support is actually very useful. If a unit is getting hit twice, in the same skill slot, he actually applies a level of defense that it's hard to be given specifically to units, and he can target a unit that's getting hit twice. However, when he's on the field though, the damage that he can apply on the field isn't as strong as I would like it to be. I think it could be technically stronger, but right now, he's more of a support utility tank than he is a damage dealer. Anyways, that's basically the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments section down below. As usual, first impressions could be better use case. Let me know if you find a better use case for him. How do you feel like he plays? He plays okay right now. Kind of the middle of the pack if I had to make a tier list for him. He's in kind of B tier for me. That's kind of where he sits. Anyways, John Panio signing out. I'll see you guys until the next video. As usual, make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, anyways, John Panio signing out. See you guys later. Bye for now.